I played around with an experiment to give GPT-4 vision. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this file, just give it one sec here, it's gonna boot up an instance of my webcam. I've just got to resize this window really quick on my end, and then I'm gonna drag it over. Okay, cool. Hello everyone, it's me. So as you can see, we are getting some object detection. So you can see it's saying like my beanbag behind me is a couch, it's got my chair, it's got me. So what I did was I took a pre-trained yellow V8 model, which is just a, a vision model, and I added some of my own custom data. The labeling's not 100% right yet. And as you can see, we're getting this info live. Um, but I, I have three objects to test it on. And what I also did was I hooked this up to OpenAI's Whisper so that I can use my voice and then we're using Google text to speech so that it gives the computer a voice, even though the voice isn't that good. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and we're gonna kind of run through these three objects I have. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what happens when you give GPT-4 eyes and you hook it up to the internet, you hook it up to your webcam. So let's, let's run through this, check this out. First object. Yes. What object am I holding? You are holding a can of Diet Coke. Yes. How many calories does it have? Searching the web. Okay, it's going to search the web and give us a result. Diet Coke doesn't have any calories. Yes. What object am I holding up now and search for it on Amazon so that I can buy it? Searching the web. I found this toothbrush on Amazon for $6.64. It gets 4.7 stars on 14,712 reviews. Okay, there's the source. I have... Who is this guy? Tell me a little bit about him. <laughs> Searching the web. This should get it right. John Wick is a fictional character played by Keanu Reeves in a neo-noir action thriller film series. John is a legendary hitman who seeks revenge after a gang invades his home steals his car, and kills his puppy that was a gift from his late wife. This sends him back into the criminal underworld and puts him in conflict with the international organization of assassins he used to belong to. Yes? All done. Thanks for your help. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so that was super cool. So what I wanna do really quick as a last little experiment, um, these should all be accurate web pages. So give me one sec, I'm gonna bring in a, a little web tab here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna paste in this first one. Okay, so this first link was in fact correct. It was looks like John Wick's character page. Um, this is the Amazon thing it said it found. 6.64. Um, so it didn't get the price. I wonder if it signed in. It, it might have access on my real browser to my account, which might have had like a discount. But that, that's still like pretty impressive. And then that, this looks good. This looks just like that Coke's website, I'm guessing. Okay, so it probably went to this nutrition facts and saw zero calories. Okay, so pretty cool. Fun little experiment there. Like I said, this was a pre-trained vision model and I added a few like of my own custom images to train some of those objects, which is why we got that. Um, but that was a pretty cool example you can see of uh, how a tool like that might work, right? So you could, do, you could do things like hook it up to like a sports broadcast and have it live broadcast sports. You hook it up to like a security cam and have it like annotate stuff in real time. So there's like a whole lot of possibilities here.